Uh, ah, sorry. Hello, lovely bloodsuckers. As you can see, I am doing the split screen because it's a lot easier to go over this by doing a split screen. And this is a thoughts and discussion video. The reason why I'm not using my ethos model is because this is more of a serious matter and I'd rather address it out of character. So, if y'all don't know, SAG AFTRA has put a strike on some video games. And far as I know, one of them is uh, Genshin. And the reason that is, is because of them using AI to voice characters and using the voice actors voice without their permission. Now, I'm an amateur voice actor, though I haven't done any games or indie, ga indie games or anything like that. Most of my experience is in manga dubbing and video editing, but I'm still an amateur voice actor, so, and I did audition for a video for a visual novel. Um, well, but I don't know if I'll be chosen or not, so I'm just saying that I auditioned for it. I'm not going to say what it is or anything like that. But anyways, back to what I was saying. The reason why they did this is because um, of the AI thing. And they have every right to do this, too. This strike, it, it um... Okay, I'll just read this to explain why they're doing this and stuff. That would be better to do. Why is SAG AFTRA test striking the video game contract? SAG AFTRA is striking the contract so that members working in interactive media video games can can can, can, can t ah. Sorry, I'm stuttering today a lot, and I don't mean to. Um. So if I stutter a bit, I do apologize. It frustrates me, trust me. But it's an issue I have that I've always had since I was little and that's because I'm moderately autistic and other things. So if I do stutter like I'm doing right now, that's why. Anyways, can continue earning a living doing the job that they love. Our members work and likeness are being exploited by artificial intelligence and video game companies have refused to finally affirm in clear and enforceable language that they will protect all performers covered by this contract in their AI language. So basically what that's saying is the uh, the companies are do taking voice actor voices without their permission and using it in their games. Which, as I said, as far as I know, Genshin is one of those games that is doing this. And they're not paying them for it or anything or even protecting their likeness. Which is illegal, but it has to be proven in court for it to actually... It's... It's like a whole thing to actually prove this. And most of the time because of a corporation having better lawyers and stuff, they win. Okay. And who does SAG after a bargain the video game contract with? In other words, which companies are in position to give SAG after a video game performance the fair deal we deserve? For an interactive media game contract, AFTRA bargains collectively with the following companies. Asian Productions, Blight LLC, Disney Character Voices, Electric Arts, which is EA, Formosa Interactive, uh, Insomniac Games, L L uh, I can't say that name. Yeah, 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 I know Chrome isn't responding. Uh, 
Take Two Productions, VoiceWorks Productions, and WB Games Inc. These are the companies that AFTRA has tried to reach a fair deal with since October 2022 and who have refused to agree to the critical terms our members need. So it's not Hoyoverse, but Jensen, it's Genshin, I keep saying Jensen, Genshin, Genshin itself because I do believe people are saying Genshin is on this list. I. I used to play Genshin, okay, but I don't play it anymore. But from my understanding, Genshin is on the list as one of the games that are striked. But not Hoyoverse itself. What are the struck companies? With the exception of games signed the tiered budget independent interactive mini agreement. For an interim, interim interactive media agreement, the strike applies all video game companies assigned to the interactive media agreement, regardless of whether or not they are members of the convenience bargain group. That said, because some companies have games that cannot be struck due to certain contract terms, it is easier to think about the strike terms of struck games as opposed to struck companies. Yeah, so see, it's not always the company itself that gets struck, but the game will get struck, is what they're saying. Sorry, my voice broke right there. To find out more... No, no, sorry. To find out whether a game is struck, go to... We... I'll probably do that in another video if y'all want me to. Right now we're just going over what it means and stuff like that. And, and, and enter the production ID and or code name into the search function. The production ID is the unique number assigned to each video game pro project by the union because code names may change or may not be unique to a single game. You should confirm the product, like, production ID for purpose of whether you can work. Sorry, I'm losing vision a bit. Uh, can work on the game without violating the strike order. The production ID should be available through your agent or representative, the studio producer and or caster dir casting director. If you are unable to find a production ID through those sources, you can also reach out to SAG after at video game strike at after.org. If the search shows the game is either struck or non union, performers should withhold all covered services for the game per the strike notice and order. If you have further questions about the status of a game, please reach out to Zach Astra at Video Game Strike at Zach Astra. How do I know? Well, I basically went over that, so. Well, I guess we'll go over it. Yeah, no, just that's the same thing, so no point. Uh, are there any video games that aren't struck? Yes, games signed to, uh, to an internal. In, in term interactive media agent uh, tiered budget independent interactive agent agreement or in term interactive localization agreement strike and we strongly encourage and celebrate our members working games signed to these contracts when you look up a game status uh, again uh if y'all want me to, I'll do a video just going over the list. But right now we're just going over the explanation and what it means and all that. The search function will let you know if the game is signed to the interim or tiered independent blah 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 agreement. 
Certain games that are produced by strike companies are not currently being struck because the terms of the collective bargaining agreement are still in effect for those games. The search function will also let you know if the game you are looking up is one of those games. Please note, although members will not be dis uh, disciplined for working, these may still stand in solidarity with their fellow members by refusing to cross a picket line for these games. And their employer is uh, contractually prohibited from discriminating against them for this choice. If you have been engaged under a daily contract for one of these games, you can choose to show solidarity with your fellow union members by not signing a new contract with the game. Why are there non-struck games for struck companies? Well, they basically went over that, right? Because, yeah, there are certain games that are not currently being struck because the terms of the collective are... Yeah, it's basically the same thing they went over with, but they're just breaking it down in another way. What other SAG after contracts can I work during the strike? One of our strengths as a union is that during a strike, one of the one contract of one contract. I'm sorry, I skipped over the of. Our members can work most other contracts such as SAG after approved interim interactive media. Uh, SAG after approved. It's basically just talking about what's approved for the uh, agreements, dubbing agreements, audiobooks, TV theoretical agreement, uh, commercials, television, radio, and digital media, including ADR, looping, trailers, television, and new media animation, influ influencer generated sponsor content agreement, network TV code, which is including promo work. Sound recordings, music videos, corporate and educational, non-broadcast programs, station contracts, broadcast news, short project agreement, micro budget, micro budget, that budget agreement, student film, student film agreement, independent new media agreement, independent podcast agreement, and micro monetized podcast agreement. Certain separate, uh, separate, uh, separate. Separately negotiated basic cable agreements. Does the strike impact video game localization? Localization for foreign video games covered under the Interactive Localization Agreement (IOA) is struck work. However, an interim, interim interactive localization agreement is available to video game companies who agree to our protective AI and other terms. You can view, view the ILA here, which again, another video if y'all want me to do that. Will my health coverage be affected during a strike? A strike will not interrupt occurred benefits. Health coverage will continue without interruption as long as you have met the medium requirements for coverage. If you have questions regarding your first so that's just basically going over the coverage for health. What happens if I'm not able to meet uh, eligibility requirements? Okay, so that's just health again. Although I guess I should read that for people that are actor professional actors and want to know without reading all of it. Forget my stuttering again. Mm. We understand this is an area of great concern for members in one other reason the decision to strike has not been made lightly. Unfortunately, your health insurance will not be extended due to a strike. However, there are a number of alternative coverage and assistance options available to you. If you do not meet the minimum, and then it just goes back over meeting the minimum and all that. Sorry, I'm going through this so fast and reading it so fast I'm running out of space. So I'm just going to scroll for a second for you all the 
Oh. And I need to take a deep breath. Will I continue to collect payments from the SAG producers pension plan and or the AFTRA retirement fund during a strike? Yes. From M uh, strike rules. Oh, this is the member stuff. So, I'm not going to go through all of it right now anyways. Maybe in a future video if y'all want me to do this. Because uh, I don't have much time to go through all of it at once. But if y'all want me to do another video on this, I will definitely do one. Because... As, an, as I said, as an amateur voice actor, this interests me to an extent as well, and it's good to know about this stuff, you know. So, again, if y'all want me to make another video, I will. I'm more than happy to do so. This one was just basically to let y'all know most of what's going on. But I love y'all. Hope you have a wonderful day or night, depending on your watches. Mwah.